Good morning. I am running late for work, which is kind of my norm. Um, I had full intentions of like waking up early and vlogging my morning for y'all. And then I stayed up really late last night and then I was like, maybe I should sleep instead. Sleeping sounds much better than that. So now I'm running my usual lateness to work, but I still decided to treat myself because it is Wednesday. Give me a little pick me up for Wednesday and get Starbucks coffee this morning. So I also haven't had coffee yet. So, um, bless me. But it also said that it was going to take a little bit to be ready. I ordered through the app. Um, so I figured let's vlog about it. Let's see how late to work I'm actually going to be this morning. So yes, this is my morning routine <laughs> because I woke up 20 minutes ago and I was supposed to leave 10 minutes ago. Actually, I, wait, I was a little more than 20 minutes, but not quite 30 minutes ago. So that's my life. Luckily, my boss is pretty chill about um, being late. And I also worked through my lunch yesterday, so I feel like I can come in a little bit late. I can come in a little later. Um, and I stay late a lot of the time. So, anyways, I'll check back in. So, I don't understand what this person behind me is doing, but I got my coffee. I got a little peppermint mocha to be festive for vlogmas. Ugh, oh, delicious. Okay, it's time to get to work. So I thought about filming my like whole commute, but I decided that'd be really boring. And also I kind of like my me time in the morning. Um, I'll listen to a podcast or some music, try to get into a good mood before I go to work. Um, but lately I've been listening to this podcast called And This Is Why We Drink. And it's a true crime, true crime and paranormal podcast, and it's really good, and I kind of enjoy it. So that's what I've been listening to. Um, also, something weird that I do on my commute to like try to be a happier person is I do this thing called uh, road karma, where like if I can tell someone is trying to get over, like I'll always let them over. Like I never try to not let anyone over. And sometimes like even like if it's like a difficult situation, I'll just go ahead and slow down and let them over. And I think it builds road karma because I don't get in any wrecks and people let me over all the time as well. So that's my philosophy on that. editing um I did a really bad job I was gonna like film during lunch but then I was like working during lunch and I was really hungry so I just kind of like ate really quickly and then I was like oh I didn't ever film that <sighs> so anyways also you're going to hear the um GPS in the background okay I accidentally turned the camera off but we're fine um I was just gonna let you know that you are 100% going to hear my GPS in this. Uh, I use the GPS every day. Not because I don't know how to get to and from. Me. Turn right, then use the left lane to take the I-635 west ramp. Because I am aggressively ADHD. And I need my phone to yell at me to exit. Or else I'll just get in my head and end up in Oklahoma or something. Also, I had another ADHD moment getting in my car. Use the left lane to take the I-635 west ramp. I got into my car and immediately turned it on. And then, like, I was sitting here for, like, five minutes looking for my keys. I'm like, wait, where are my keys? Oh, yeah, I turned them on, like, first thing I got in the car. I'm also, like, 
always getting out of the car and forgetting to unbuckle. I always remember to buckle. Like, that's committed to the muscle memory. But, like, I'll forget to unbuckle and then <laughs> I'll just get pulled back by my seatbelt. So that's fun. Anyways, that's what it's like to live with the ADHD. I'm not going to vlog my whole drive home because, wow, that's boring. And I also don't want to edit 30 minutes of me rambling about traffic. So, I'll see you when I get home. So I found this journal prompt before I left work um, and I thought it was really cool so I wanted to go ahead and give it a little shot. Um, so I'll put it up here on the screen. And it was by Jennifer Rollins, one of the intuitive eating dietitians that I follow on Instagram. So I just feel like I always kind of like to journal before I have therapy and tomorrow I have therapy because um, it kind of gets some of the thoughts out of my head so I know what I want to talk about going into it. Anyways. Here's my little stir fry. I basically made like a fried rice and then put um, orange chicken sauce on it but um, I didn't feel like having the rice separate so that's just how I did it then I have a glass of milk here because it might be spicy so yeah please ignore the wrestling in the background Bryce watches 10 hours of wrestling each week don't judge me okay he also I got, love wrestling he does 10 hours a week watching AEW right now <laughs> also he got a new haircut babe show him the haircut Oh yeah. <laughs> how do you like how do you like dinner? It's pretty good. Good, I'm glad. Yeah. My mic on because Bryce is practicing his guitar in the background and there's he's also watching wrestling <laughs> while he practices. Um, but I'm gonna show y'all how I make my night night tea, so or my nighttime tea, excuse me. So I just heated this water up in the microwave and then I have these little tea bags. Try to open this with one hand. Right. I used my teeth. Don't judge me. All right. Just stick that little tea bag in there. Um, and that just helps me like calm down, relax, and get get rested for the night. And then I have. I'm not gonna be able to do this with my hand. This is a Vosital. It's something new that I'm trying. So for those of you who are just tuning in, I have PCOS, and with that comes some insulin resistance. So this is supposed to help with that. I just started taking it like last week, um, and essentially I just take a scoop, level it out, um, and I do a scoop in my nighttime tea and a scoop in my coffee. Just stick that in there. And supposedly it's supposed to help with that. Um, I, again, I haven't been taking it very long, but it came highly recommended to me by one of my internet dietitians that I follow, so we're going to try it. And then I'm just going to sweeten it with this honey. And that's what it looks like all mixed up. And then I'm just going to let that sit while it cools and steeps. Um, and then that'll be my nighttime tea. Okay, so I'm just kind of getting ready for bed here. I brush my teeth with my little charcoal bamboo toothbrush thing. And then I use children's toothpaste because I hate the taste of anything minty. So we have pineapple coconut because who doesn't want that? Um, and then I wash my face. This is the soap that I use to wash my face. Um, sometimes I just use like a little facial wipe or whatever. Oh, also I forgot I was gonna tell you. While I brush my teeth, I always um, read my list of goals off. I usually have it taped to my mirror, but I don't know where the tape is and I made a new one recently. So I talk about this in one of my blog posts for End With A Bang, which I will link down below. Um, but essentially this is my list of goals for the person I wanna be 10 years from now. So in 2030 is what I put on it. 
So this is, I'm going to go ahead and read it to you just for funsies. I support myself financially with my writing and vlogging. Bryce and I are happily married and we are still best friends. I own a tiny house off Lake Conroe that my husband and I built and designed together. I spend most of my time traveling the country with my husband's band. I have a peaceful relationship with food and movement. I do what I can to protect the environment and try to live as sustainably as possible. Despite how busy I am, I always make time for family and close friends. I have a cushy savings and never have to worry if I have enough money. I have a, a relaxed, grungy fashion sense. I have a big, fluffy dog who is super chill and sweet. So, yeah. Um, if you're curious about how I came up with all of that, you can check out that blog post that I was talking about, um, about how to create this list. And now, we're going to finish my little face routine. I usually have um, little reusable cotton pads, but they're all dirty, and I need to wash them. So we're going to use this little rag to do some toner. This is the rose petal witch hazel blah 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 that I use. And I'm covering it up. Absorb. And I'm just going to rub that into my skin. Uh, and then I use this moisturizer, just a PM CeraVe thing. Um, if I have a serum from my Ipsy bags, um, I usually put that on before this, but I don't know where my serum is. It's probably somewhere like in a backpack or something. Okay, and then I have this little eye roller. I didn't even remember the brand. It's been like completely wiped off, but I think it was like a store brand to be honest. And it's kind of running low, so I kind of rub it on my hand first before I rub it under my eye. If I'm feeling like it, I'll rub it on the top part too. But when I just kind of rub that in. Okay, and then we do chopstick. Okay, there's the serum. It's literally right there. Actually, it's been really, I'm going to show you this because I've been really enjoying it. I got this in one of my Ipsy bags. It's like a watermelon illuminator overnight serum. Maybe I'll go ahead. I'll put a tiny bit on over my... Why not? Just for funsies. Since y'all are here. And that is my day. Thank you, for, thank you for watching. I know it's been very random and probably boring, but that's my life. And I will see you in the next one. Like and subscribe.